Hi everybody, back again with another very quick video. Um, this just come through the post. It's the Ultimate Survivors number two box for Zombie Side. This was released um, for people who backed Zombie Side season three and the Black Plague for the Kickstarter pledges. Um, I'm assuming you'll be able to get this in the stores. If not. If it's a Kickstarter exclusive, there will be some available on an eBay. You'll probably have to pay over-the-top prices. But um, if you want to upgrade some of your survivors from the earlier editions of the game, this is a great way to do it. I think there's eight in all in this box. Turn it over. So that's what you get in the box. You get your eight survivors. You get, um, obviously, the character cards their um, cards that you use for building your teams in Season 3. So you get to add them to that. And you also get your little um, experience points sliders as well for your cards. So what I'll do with this video, just show, give you uh, a quick look at the miniatures and obviously the cards. And that'll be it for me. So stay tuned and we'll be back with the cards next. Okay, here are the cards that you use for the team building. You either shuffle them up and pull them out at random to see what players you get. But you've got Troy, just normal backs. Chaz. Nick. El Cholo, Ivy, Marvin, just trying to get the glare off the cards, Claudia, and finally Dave. You also get, as I said, your experience sort of sliders There's so many of these you don't need that many and we'll now take a look at the um, character cards now with the ultimate survivors uh, the main difference is on the blue action where you start you get an extra skill so that's what makes them a little bit stronger but that's Chaz and on the back it does have the Zombivors. Now you don't get the Zombivors in this pack. Um, a lot of people ask the question, well, where's the Zombivors? You use the same Zombivors that you got um, with the original pack. As you can see, the picture of Chaz there is different, completely different uniform and clothing to what he's wearing on this one. So that's where you use the Zombivors for. They didn't make um, extra Zombivors. Which makes sense because they didn't really need to. I never use the Zombivers in the game anyway. I think they're a bit silly what I do. I think I mentioned it in previous videos. I give the survivors an extra wound. So instead of two wounds and you're dead, I let them have three. Well, here we have Claudia. Just to show you that it is the original Zombival. So you can, I'll leave it here, you can have a look and see what actions she gets. Then we have Dave, which is a lot of people's favourites. Quite a highly sought after miniature, the original one. He was, anyway, he's quite readily available now. But at the start he was quite highly sought after. As you can see, the original's on Bible. And he starts with two Molotovs. So that's pretty handy. And we have El Cholo. He's on Biver at the back there. And obviously you can tell it's the Ultimate Survivors because it's got Ultimate written on there. This is Ivy. This is the Angelina, Angelina Jolie figure. Marvin. Never really liked the Marvin miniature that much, but this one looks so much better, as you'll see in a little while when I show you the miniatures. Here we have Nick. 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 
I'm hoping my Black Plague Pledge gear will arrive soon. Um, there's been no news yet on when it's going to actually be shipped. All the Kickstarter exclusives and the expansion and that for it. So I'm just still waiting for an email to say when it's going to be on its way. And finally we have Troy. Okay, so without further ado, we will now check at the, look at the things that you really want to look at, which is the miniatures. So here is El Cholo, who is obviously based on Danny Trejo. Camera should be picking out the detail on this. Really nice, nice looking miniature. Big um, improvement on the originals. Here's um, Marvin. Bit difficult to pick out the detail on this one because of the blue colour. But when they're painted, they will look pretty cool. Don't think they'll release Ultimate Survivors for all of the survivors that they've uh, released in the past. You never know, they might do the odd another box maybe for some of the more. Um, um, popular survivors that have been released but we'll have to wait and see Marvin that's based on um, Samuel L. Jackson next up is Dave obviously based on Sheldon from the Big Bang Theory again really nice detailing and as I mentioned these are high, uh, much improved sculpts even though the original sculpts are very good, these are just that little bit better. Next up is Troy, which is based on the Evil Dead Ash character. They must be running out of ideas now for colours, for the plastic, for the miniatures. But I, I'm expecting that there won't be any more zombie side stuff released other than maybe, as I said, the ultimate survivors, maybe. Um, I think they're mainly going to concentrate on beefing up the Black Plague set from now on. So if you want your zombie side fix, that would be the next best way to get it. And I think it is, um, because mainly because of the theme, Black Plague is a better game for me, because I like the fantasy type theme. Here we have Ivy. A little bit of bendage on the gun there, but a little bit of warm water will sort that out. This is, as I said, is based on Angelina Jolie. Again, quite difficult to pick out the detailing because of the colour of the plastic. I've always liked using this character in Zombie Side. She's pretty good. She's got the sniper ability. Then we have Claudia. I uh, can't remember who she's based on now. I did say in a previous video. Again, that's not that's a pretty good character to use as well in Zombie Side. The ones I normally play are um, the Mila Jovovich character. Um, also play um, Josh is another one of my favourites to play. Uh, this is uh, Chaz, which is based on Chuck Norris. This is the same colour plastic from his original miniature, if I remember rightly. They feel, they look um, a little bit bigger as well that from what I can see here I'll have to put them side by side to have a look but they do look a little bit bigger it's probably not but I might do a comparison video later on and finally um, we have Nick which is um, Bruce Willis based on the diehard Bruce Willis character John McClane obviously
So yeah. So if you go for the Ultimate Survivors Pack 2, that is everything that you get in it. Your miniatures, your um, character cards, your little sliders, and the team building cards. Um, I think uh, on the Kickstarter, this was about... I, thought, I can't remember offhand, I think it's about $45, something like that. Um, it's quite expensive, um, but I expect you'll probably see it on eBay for around 50 to to £100. You know what some sellers are like, they try and make a profit out of it. Um, I could have done that, I could have bought two sets and sold one on, but I just buy things for myself. I don't try and make profits out of anything. Um, but I love the artwork on, on this game. And it's just a game that, it's different every time you play it, and it's real good fun to play, especially on a Friday or a Saturday night. If you've been out with your mates, had a few beers, come back, uh, break this game out, have a few more beers and some little nibbles and stuff like that. It's a good fun game to play. Um, it can be can take quite a long time, but if you bring in your own little house rules, because there's a lot of really naff rules in the actual game itself, I don't follow it the way that it's supposed to be played, I, I use a few house rules. Um, you can make the game a little bit more enjoyable. Um, depends how your gaming group or how you feel about playing the game. But um, there will be some videos, hopefully, I keep saying this every time I do a video near enough, um, some playthrough videos of Zombicide and Black Plague. Um, it's, so it's just getting the time to do it. I'm really pushed for time, because normally if I'm off work, because I'm a permanent night worker, the first day I'm off, <laughs> I'm usually knackered, so I can't really make any videos, because it's quite a tiring day for me. The second day that I'm off, I'm normally doing something, uh, normally mainly going into London and places like that to do rock concerts and things, which takes up a lot of my free time at the moment. But um, when I get maybe a week or so off work, there will be a playthrough coming. Not sure when that'll be. I think my next week off work is round about July time. So I'll, fingers crossed, um, the video that I've been promising you will be coming then. Um, next set of videos I'm going to be doing is the Imperial Assault. Um, I've actually done one of them. I'll upload that after I've done this on the base game with some of the um, expansions. And uh, there's other. There's two other large expansions for that with some miniature pack expansions as well and they will be the two videos that follow so that'll be a three video series um, so stay tuned for those they should be coming up possibly the first one within the next day or so and I'll go from there so as always thanks for watching um, and take care and see you guys on the next video